Hey y'all, K Feist is here. So, as I record this, I'm not at home, okay? So, I'm not gonna do a visual video. <laughs> but, I will give you your February 2019 love scope. Now, um, I'm going to upload this on the weekend, so it's probably the weekend. But right now, it's the weekday, but I'm assuming that I'll have it up during the weekend i'll schedule it to upload so now here we go aries k Feist is here so um let's get into it shall we so aries now you may have let me just get this together i think it's titanic okay i think it's titanic now if you've been living under a rock all your goddamn life the titanic was a was an ocean liner that went under in like 1914, I think it was, or 1912, who knows? They called it the unsinkable ship. Well, the bitch sunk, okay? It hit an iceberg and it's just, y'all, I can't tell you how good my makeup looks today. My makeup looks so good today. I'm so mad. I just, I just did a fucking video. <laughs> Sorry, let me stop. Anyway, <laughs> back to you. Back to you, Tammy. So, all right. The Titanic went down, honey, in the ocean. And this person thought that it would never going to sink. Now, you may have been... Okay, let me just try to break this down. You went back to somebody that you dealt with a long time ago. Okay, let's just keep it real. You went back with somebody you dealt with. All right. This person's all well and good, whatever. Poo-poo. Now, you turned around and you got into it with them and then you went back with somebody else okay now listen y'all mm -mm -mm. you look at the other person the somebody else person you're looking at them like you know what i can't make no plans with you you're not even to move what was i thinking like i fell and bumped my head this person that you're dealing with is on some ego trip you know what i mean they back on the ego trip because they think oh i got them in the right spot i got them in the spot where I got the ass, you know what I'm saying? Wrong. The person that think they got you so tight, like on the ego trip, don't have you like they think they have you, you know? You just wait for the ass to do something stupid, like say anything. I mean, sneeze, motherfucker, sneeze, okay? Because I'm about to tear your ass up. Sneeze. Anyway. So, I think that the person you may be dealing with now is someone that you feel... You're going to start feeling, I mean, you probably already know. The f Some of y'all got a problem with being alone. So you probably only dealing with someone because the other person either is MIA or y'all got into it or where the fuck happened. I don't know. Um, I think you may call this other person that you really, truly love. The one you really, really love, you know. You may call them and want to meet them somewhere and see how it goes. I think you may come to them like stoic and shit. Trying to see. I mean, maybe you hard. Maybe you on an ego trip. Who knows? Um, and then the other person going to blow up when they find out. They're going to blow up. They're going to lose their shit. Okay? They're going to lose their shit. They proverbial shit, honey. And fly off the handle. But this person is known for flying off the handle. Like, they, you know they somebody who be ego tripping all the time. Okay, they know him for fine off the handle. I want to ask you to guard yourself, protect yourself against this person because this person gonna do whatever fuck they can. Like they're gonna lose their shit, okay, on you. They're gonna lose their shit on you. What? But I think that you and somebody gonna have a conversation about there may be uh, just some words, some some calm words about what the hell needs to go on from now, you know, from here, and all that good shit. Now. Some of y'all may be feeling like it was a bad choice that you went, you know, you did, you know, and it seems like, you know, you thought something was over and it wasn't over, but then you went back and it was, you decided it's really like, this is like the end of the road with this shit. Okay. Because the person who was ego tripping start talking like they used to talk. And when they start talking like they used to talk because they can't help themselves, you realize, oh, hell no. Nah. Let me tell you what happened a long time ago. Okay, so a long time ago, let me give you an example. I was, okay, I had this boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, in high school, whatever. 
He was cool and shit. Everybody wanted his ass and blah, 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 all that shit. So I got him, okay? I always get the one everybody want. Why? I don't know. <laughs> that don't mean they fucking good. Anyway, so. Everybody wants a motherfucker, okay? Of course you do. I mean, he, he dark. He fine as fuck. Of course everybody wants his ass. Damn. Mm. But. <laughs> but. This motherfucker. Cool, whatever. So we had issues in high school. You know what I'm saying? We broke up, whatever. But it's a high school thing. You know, it's a high school. So years later, I was grown. You know what I mean? I was talking to the motherfucker. I saw, I seen him some, I saw him somewhere. His cousin saw me. And his cousin got my he asked he was talking to him on the phone when i saw him he got my number and he was talking to me blah, 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 you know what i'm saying so i'm like cool whatever i give my number you know what i'm saying i gave him my number i was talking to him on the phone right this motherfucker started talking stupid like he used to talk like crazy shit i was like oh hell no nah. i'm about to mm -mm, no this is not gonna work I quit talking to this motherfucking ass. That kind of shit. Like, you gonna try to give another person another chance and they start talking crazy again and it's like, uh-uh. Your ass is grass, motherfucker, because bitch, you was on probation anyway. You know, and you come with this shit now and you know for sure you done. Like, I can't deal with no more of your nonsense. That is the, the story I have for y'all <laughs> that I can think of that explains how I felt. So, that kind of shit may happen to y'all. And you'll go back to the other person and be like, you know what? Uh, I love you. I had a momentary lapse of judgment. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this person may be somebody that, you know, you really love. You may have kids with them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's a familial type relationship, like a family type relationship with this person. Even though y'all may be an on outs. It's not going to turn like that. It's going to be something else, something more. All right. So, Aries, much love to you, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.